hello and welcome to Thursdays with Annette. I've got my apron on, I've got my cookbook ready and I'm excited to cook for you today. So thanks for joining me. I've had some very exciting news. I don't know whether you've heard about this event that I'm doing but I'll talk about that later because I'm too excited about this recipe. We're going into book five. So this is the recipe we're going to be making today and it's the Chinese omelette. Oh, I loved it as a kid. And when I made it, it was like flashback in time because it's all about the sauce that goes on the top. Yes, and there's lots of variations with this one, but I'm just going to do a plain one for today. And I'm excited to cook it for you because, you know, it's sometimes, this is our Friday night special. It used to be pizza when I was 100 kilos, but now it's Chinese omelette. And I do have a couple of other omelettes as well, which I'll mention in a minute. But what I've got here for the ingredients is I've got five eggs, but we only use three egg whites and two whole eggs. So, um, you know, you can buy the egg whites in the carton if you prefer to do that and not waste your egg yolks. Um, but that's what we're doing today. That's the five eggs, three white, two whole. I've got some uh, chicken stock powder, the low salt, mushrooms, shallots, frozen peas, and some bean shoots. I've got my cooking spray and for the sauce, which I think just makes it, as I said, you're using oyster sauce, corn flour and a bit of water. I mean, it's not a hard recipe because that's the theme for this year. It's simple, simple, simple. So what I might do to start with is I'll just prep up the veggies. So we want half a cup of thinly sliced mushrooms. And as I said, there are variations to go with this. Like you can make chicken, you can make ham, you can do prawn and, um, and plain, which is what I'm doing today. I'll tell you how to do that later. All right, so half a cup. I'll probably need one more mushroom. Yep. And it's all done in the pan. So I've got my Neoflam pan ready to go. There we go. Half a cup of mushies. That will do it. All right, so now... I might just put it back in there because I want to do shallots. Now, I only want a, a quarter of a cup of shallots. This omelette, you make one in using in the pan, right? And I'm going to cut in half and serve it. It's for two people. Yeah. Or if you're super, super, super hungry, you can have it all to yourself. All right, so we're going to now slice shallots. And we want a quarter of a cup. All these flavours, to me, make it really taste authentic Chinese omelette. Did you used to have an omelette when you were a kid from the Chinese takeaway? Oh, I used to love it. Because we didn't have the, you know, back in my day, um, we didn't have as many takeaway options, did we? So Chinese was very popular. All right. I don't need this anymore now, do I? So let's put it over here. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start cooking the, uh, the, the veggies and then I'm going to beat up the eggs. So good spray of the rice bran. Let's turn this on. Now, you don't want this really, really hot for the omelette, otherwise it's going to burn. So just be a bit careful with that. We're going to put the mushrooms in, the shallots, and the frozen peas. Now, in the recipe, the author says to then also put in the bean shoots. But because I'm the author, I'm changing it. For me, I like to add the bean shoots a little bit later, because I can. <laughs> Okay, so while that's cooking away, I'm going to put in the eggs. I always start with the egg whites first in case something happens and I drop one in of the yolk. I can always adapt. So we want three egg whites. Now, if you're using the carton egg whites, it's 36 grams is equal to one egg white in my recipe, all right? 
one more. If you love omelettes, you'll be glad to know that I've got a ham and cheese omelette in book three in the breakfast section. And I also have in more cooking for two, the latest book, we're going to put the whole eggs in now, Mediterranean omelette. It has potato and olives in it. It's, it's actually, I thought this was my favourite omelette, but I don't know, dare I say that it's, it may have changed. Okay, so we're just cooking this because it's just one of those things that you want to cook it off first. Now because I cooked that for a little bit, remember, now I'm going to put in the one and a half cups of bean shoots. And this is a must have, you can't miss out on that. I'm going to put my grill on because I want it hot. So I'm going to put my grill on ready to go because what happens is I cook it in the pan and then finish it off under the grill. That's a really good tip for omelettes. Now I'm going to put in a teaspoon of chicken stock powder and then I'm just going to beat it up. It's a really simple recipe but it takes an omelette to the next level. And what I often serve with this for me and Billy, especially if it's a main meal, you know, you could do a salad with it at lunch and whatever, but I'll make fried rice out of book three, or the vegetable fried rice is really nice in book one. But the other one that I like is the cauliflower fried rice. I do love that. And that's in the more cooking for one, no, cooking for one or two, yeah. Oh, yum. This is frying off beautifully. All right, I'm going to just give this one more little quick beat. Thanks for joining me today. I love cooking for you. And I, with this new event that's coming up, I, I'm hoping you'll come and see me live. Wouldn't that be awesome? Now, this is the sauce here, but we have to cook this first. And then, at the very end, once the omelette's taken out, because I don't want to have to wash up two pans, you use it again. All right. Now, what you do next is you pour it in. I'm going to turn it down a bit. The key is you don't want to cook it too quickly so it burns. So you just pour the mix over the veggies. Scrape that all in. There we go. Look at that. So this is just got to sit and cook for a little bit. I'm going to take that down. Please don't have it too high because it will just burn. So slow and steady is the way to go. So let me put this in my soapy sink. Now let me tell you about the variations because I think that you know you might like to add more to it. So I'm going to read it to you. Now, with the, um, the chicken, you can make a, chicklet, chi <laughs> a Chinese chicken omelette. Um, you, what you do is you get 800 grams of skinless chicken breast um, and you just di di cook it up and shred it and that goes in. If you want a ham, and that's, the chicken is 6.6 grams of fat. This one is 5.4. Now, if you want the ham in it, um, you just do 40 grams of lean ham, slice it up. Prawns, 60 grams of um, cooked peeled prawns. Cut them in half because they can be a bit chunky and uh, just add those proteins to the, the filling at this point. All right. And the uh, prawn is 5.5 grams of fat. This is looking very good. Don't want to have it too hot. Now, let me quickly tell you about my event. I'm sorry, I'm excited because finally after years and years I'm coming out of the closet and I'm going to do be live on stage at the Maruti RSL on the 20th of May. It's a Simply Two event and it's called Saturday with Annette because I mean we've done Thursdays for how many years so let's do a Saturday. Now I'm going to chuck this under the grill so you can see it's still a little bit eggy on the top 
but that's good. I'm going to cook it underneath. So in it goes. So you want that hot. Don't put the handle too far in because you don't want to burn it. But this event is going to be epic because it's all about helping you to lose weight but also to cook healthy, all the things that come under my world of healthy living, I'll be sharing with you on the day. It'll be fantastic. So it's the 20th of May at the Marucci RSL. Be there or be square, people. Just go to simplytogood.com.au forward slash events. Check it out. Get a booking. Come spend the day with me. Billy will be there. My gorgeous Billy. Diane will be there. And even some of my daughters are coming to help as well. And Kimmy, who has been at every one of my workshops over the years, is flying up from Port Macquarie. Uh, she's my best friend. She's the one that actually took the photo of me in my swimsuit at 100 kilos. I've forgiven her. Yes, she's fabulous. All right, let's check it out. Oh, it's nearly done. So what I'm going to do is I want to keep this here because I'm going to make the sauce, remember. I've got my two plates. Here we are. Let me, I can get rid of all these. There's the omelette. There we go. And we need this and this. And we're good. All right, that should probably do it. Yes. That's how easy it is. See, look at that. There's your omelette. Amazing. Now I'm going to go around the edges, kind of try and lift it a bit. Hopefully it's going to work for me. It normally does, but because you're watching, it probably won't. Now this is for two, all right? So I'm going to cut it down the middle. And this is the thing with these Nerf lamps. As long as you don't dig in with your knife, um, you can actually cut on them, cut with them, like I'm doing now, and it won't be a problem. All right. Let's get the omelette out. Here we go. Now, I like to fold it over so it's got that, you can see the bottom a bit. And here's the second one. Fold that over. Yum. Now, just get and scrape any that's left on there because you don't want that in the sauce. And I do think it's worth making the sauce for it. Absolutely. All right. So here's our omelette. We're going to do... Oh. Oh, other side. That will help. We're putting in a third a cup of water, a teaspoon of corn flour, two teaspoons of oyster sauce. Now I'm going to mix it in the, the measure cup and then put it into the pan. There we go. It takes a second to boil it, so the omelette's not going to get cold, so don't worry about that. And turn this on. Combine this, and this is your lovely sauce to go. And as I say, fried rice on the side, book three, you're welcome. There we go. Now, this is a recipe out of book five, which has got a 28-day menu plan in it. Did you know that? Yeah. So there's our sauce done. That's how quick it is. Do I have a scraper? Let me get one. I have to get all that sauce. All right. So here's... The sauce that goes over the top that makes it a bit fabulous. Oh my gosh, Chinese omelette. Are you a bit impressed? And it's really next level. There you go. It's 
soak my little pan. Do you want to win a book five? Well, because you do. And you know what? I'm being super generous right now. Yes, I am. What else would you like with book five? Hmm, I know. How about a set of measure spoons? Fantastic. That way you'll know how to measure your corn flour and everything else. So for this week, if you'd like to win book five personally signed by me and a set of your very own measuring spoons that are on the shop, if you want to have a check them out, all you have to do is like, share, and then in the comments, hashtag simply too good. And you might be going away with this fantastic book and the measure spoons. Who doesn't want them? Now, for next week's show, I'm going to be making, oh my God, the best salad ever. They, they go together like heaven. Bacon, egg, potato. Salad. I don't know. Bacon, egg, potato, salad. It's out of book six and also in uh, more cooking one or two so you can make a serves eight or for two. Check it out next week. I'm excited for you to have this recipe because if you haven't tried it, it's truly, I think, the best potato salad ever. And thank you for joining me today. I've got our little, I mean, it's a bit rustic, but that's called home cooking, isn't it? Don't forget, if you want any more tips or recipes or check out my Saturday with Annette in May, got to be there. I want to meet you. Just go to simplytogood.com.au forward slash events or just simplytogood.com.au to be on the website. Well, guys, we've got our omelette ready to go. I'll see you next week for another fantastic recipe. Remember, bacon, egg, potato, salad. Bye now. <laughs>